In this video, we're going to replace the door latch cable on this Ford F-150. All right, so inside our door panel here, we have one Phillips screw straight down. And if we go inside our door a little more, we have one Phillips screw right here. And lastly on this panel, we have to remove our crank handle. Easiest way to remove this handle is rotate it facing up. And you'll see in the bottom there's a little cutout here. This cover is what you're seeing. This is a cover here. So you're going to get in here with a pick or a small pocket screwdriver and pry that front cover open or off. And you can rotate that cover out of your way. Once you're inside that cover, you'll have a T20 screw holding your handle in place. Now what I like to do here is leave that screw in place, slide my cover back over but not lock it. That'll keep your screw in there. And then you're going to have to just pull your handle back and off like so. You can actually see our panel is pretty loose already. We're going to grab a hold of our panel and we're going to pull it straight into us. There should be some plastic clips straight into your metal door panel that you need to release. Once you've released those, we can lift our door panel up and off. You're going to have to work around your handle here. We'll grab our panel and start to work it up and off and around our handle. All right, so now to access our latch and latch cable, we're going to remove our vapor barrier here, which is stuck to the metal part of the door. This may or may not come off pretty. You want to try and do your best to save it. We're just going to peel that gently off the door. And we can stop right about here. This cable is the one we need access to. Okay, so this cable right here is the one we're going to remove. As you can see, when you pull your handle, that cable pulls forward. So we're going to start by pulling our handle up. We're going to grab a hold of that cable right there. Press really tight. That allows us to take this end of the cable and work it right out and then release that cable. Next thing we're going to need to do is pop this white plastic piece out of this bracket. Just like that. So now on the interior of the door jam, we have three screws holding our latch in. We need to remove these three screws. Okay, so now that we have our three bolts on the side removed, we'll need to remove this 12 millimeter here.
And on the inside of the door, there's a bracket attached to that. That's actually attached to your window track. And that, being out of the way, will then give you room to pull your latch mechanism down and over. Now right here, inside this black case, is the other end of our cable. That's where we need to get to. For right now, I'm just gonna tuck this cable into the door. Now with this window track bolt removed, we have more access to pull our latch mechanism in. Now this black plastic cover is covering the inside or covering the other side of our cable here, and that's where we need to get to. So we're gonna need to unclip this black case on the bottom. And what might be a little bit easier to do is actually take, take that right out. Right behind our window track, we have our door lock and we have our arm that connects to our latch right here. We're gonna open up this tab and pull that rod right out of there. So there's your lock rod. And if we go a little further up, we have our handle rod as well, which is inside a yellow retaining clip. So we'll need to move that yellow retainer off and pull that rod out. And now, should be able to remove your entire latch mechanism. And now we can pull our latch mechanism out. And your latch mechanism is going to come with your lock as well as those two rods and the other end of that cable that we fed back inside there. Okay, so this is the other end of our latch cable. It's hidden behind this black plastic piece here. And there's a clip on the bottom. We're gonna need to pop that clip free of those tabs. Open that up. And slide that right off. So now what we're gonna do is pop the end of the cable off of this metal bracket. Once we have that free, we'll just push up a little bit so we have a little slack up front. And again with a pair of pliers or a thin pair of needle nose, we'll work this cable and end free here. and then you can remove your cable. Feed this through like so. Put your rubber grommet back on and then seat the plastic bushing.
the groove there. Then we can take our plastic cover. Clip it back in place. And this lever falls out. Put it back in. And now we're ready to go back to the vehicle. All right, we can now lower our latch assembly into the door. And just keep an eye on your rods, make sure they don't fall out of place. And we're gonna start to direct it back into position, which means we'll have to move our window channel out of the way. First thing we're going to do is keep our lock aligned. And we can bring our latch up to the door and get that lined up. We're going to put a couple of screws in. And then we'll go back to the inside and we'll start to put our rods back into place. We've got a door handle rod in place. And then we have our lock rod. All right, so you have your lock handle, your lock rod, your door handle rod, and your lock and unlock in place. So now we can move our window channel back into place and bolt that down. All right, put our window channel bolt back in. Take the cable, pull it through the opening here. We'll pull our cable. As much as we can. Grab it with the needle nose pliers, put it into the slot, press our plastic into place here, make sure our handle operates, and put our plastic vapor barrier back on the door. Now we're going to put our door panel back on. So we're going to start down the bottom and align our door handle here. I'm going to slide into that handle. And then we'll pivot up and put our lock into the door. We may have to push it down. Have that set in place. We'll line up our pins on the back of our door panel, give it a few good taps in, all the way around. We can put our two screws back in. We'll start up here. And one more over here. And we can put our door window crank back in place. So get our grommet here. So what I like to do is crank my window all the way down. 
make sure when my window's down, I'm happy with where the handle is and or it matches the passenger side. Tighten down the screw in the center. Spin your cap over top. Press it back in place. Give it a check. And you're all done. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.